This is Rod Lurie, this is Trailers from Hell, and this is, in my opinion, the best film ever made. It's a real honor to talk about it. All the President's Men. This is the trailer for the second release of All the President's Men, obviously exploiting the Academy Awards, uh, the eight of them that the film was nominated for, uh, which shockingly did not include, you're not seeing them listed here, uh, a Best Actor nomination for either Dustin Hoffman or for Robert Redford in what was probably the performance of his career. Look, I think this is the, uh, the best film ever made, period. I could go into the why for hours, but because that is a purely personal and aesthetic statement, uh, there's no reason to really get into it. By the way, that guard that you just saw, this guy's hands, uh, that guy is the actual guard that discovered the Watergate uh, burglars. This is the movie uh, that when I first saw when I was 13 made me want to become a journalist. And then as an adult, as I realized uh, the cinematic beauty of the film, it made me want to become a filmmaker. I think that what grabbed me the most about that movie was William Goldman's screenplay. Most movies are told in three acts, and, and so is this one. But what's interesting is that in this movie, we only see up till the end of the second act where Woodward and Bernstein make a gigantic mistake on their Watergate story. But because we as an audience already knew uh, how the real story ended, in other words, we knew what the third act was, the filmmakers didn't need to show it. Robert Redford, who was the producer, and William Goldman had respect for the audience in that sense. Redford bought the rights to the book before it was even published. In fact, before it was even written, he just assumed that Woodward and Bernstein were going to write a book, got the rights to it, and in fact influenced the structure of the book in the sense that he made it uh, or asked them to write it as a detective story. This is one of the great shots, I think, in the history of film, actually. I wish that the trailer would let uh, that shot continue and see them going through the no cards in the Library of Congress in you know, a huge wide shot. It's absolutely a uh, beautiful sequence. The opening sequence of the film, which is a still white screen that is all of a sudden interrupted by the sights and the sounds of typewriter keys, was a Robert Redford's uh, rather brilliant idea. Uh, in that sequence, the sounds of gunshots and whiplashes were put in in order to accentuate the notion that words themselves can be weapons. Everybody seems to love this film, and you know, it's sort of influenced almost every movie that I personally uh, have made. And uh, you always get in trouble when you're influenced by other films because the comparisons, um, well, you almost never survive them. But that's okay because all the presence men, it's the greatest.